Hi guys, it's Gav here from DartsHunt.tv and in today's video I'm going to be covering everything that you will need to know about the 2022 UK Open. But before I get into the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of our latest videos. It really do make a difference. 2022 UK Open is sponsored by Kazoo and kicks off on Friday the 4th of March at Butlins Minehead Resort. I can tell you I have been, it's incredible and all of you that are going are going to have an amazing Amazing time you will be buzzing it is beginning on the Friday play takes place over the three days and concludes on Sunday the 6th of March previous winners of the tournament include five times champion Phil Taylor three times champion Michael Van Gerwen and James Wade two times champion Raymond Van Barneveld and one times champion Roland Scholten Robert Thornton Adrian Lewis Peter Wright Gary Anderson and Nathan Aspinall. What a quality field of players. Who's going to be getting their hands on the UK Open this year and joining that elite field? Now, we all know that the UK Open is awesome. It is like the FA Cup of Darts. This year, a total of 159 players were due to take part, including 127 PDC Tour card holders, four times 2021 UK Challenge Tour Order of Merit qualifiers, four times 2021 European Challenge Tour Order Order of Merit qualifiers, four times 2021 UK Development Tour Order of Merit qualifiers, four times 2021 European Development Tour Order of Merit qualifiers, and of course the 16 Raleigh AMA qualifiers, which I think is absolutely brilliant. It's why I love this tournament so much. However, just to let you know, Boris Koltsov withdrew from the tournament following the draw yesterday, and so his second round opponent, uh, Brian Raman, also receives a bye, making the total go down to 158 players. Michael and Bunter was also due to take part but withdrew before the draw and as such one player received a bye in the first round. So let's look at the format. The first round is a best of 11 legs and we'll see tour card holders 97 to 127, 16 2021 challenge development tour qualifiers and 16 Raleigh's amateur qualifiers compete. The second round will be the best of 11 legs and we'll see tour card holders 65 to 96, uh, plus 32 times first round winners compete. The third round is going to be the best of 11 legs and we'll see tour card holders 33 to 64 plus 32 second round winners compete. Fourth round is the best of 19 legs and we'll see tour card holders 1 to 32 plus 32 third round winners compete. Fifth round is going to be the last 32, of course, best of 19 legs. Sixth round, uh, last 16, best of 19 legs. Quarterfinals, best of 19 legs. Semifinals, best of 21 legs. And the final is going to be the best of 21 legs. The draw for the first round, second round and third round was made on Monday, February the 28th. Following the conclusion of the third round onwards, an open draw will take place for future uh, fixtures. It's what I love. I love it. They're up on the stage, picking the balls out the old uh, hat. It is absolutely quality. See some monster matches. There's uh, definitely going to be some players in there that we don't expect get through and take on some of the biggest world stars in darts. And they can just be living the dream. It is a fantastic tournament. As the be up there with one of the best definitely moving on to the schedule of play friday march 4th there's going to be two sessions the afternoon session is played across eight stages and include the first second and third round matches main stage timings are from 11 45 to 5 p.m and stages two to eight start from 11 a.m the evening session is from 7 p.m to 11 p.m and sees the fourth round matches played across the eight stages Saturday, March the 5th is also split into two sessions. The afternoon session is from 12.45 to 5pm and sees the fifth round matches take place across the four stages. The evening session is from 7pm till 11pm and sees the sixth round matches played across two stages. Sunday, March the 6th is split into two sessions. The afternoon session is from 12.45 to 5pm and see the quarterfinals played on the main stage. And then, of course, the one we're all waiting for, the evening session is from 7pm to 11pm and sees both the semi-finals and the finals being played on the main stage. The stages are located as follows. The main stage on all days is the Skyline Pavilion. Stage 2, Friday and Saturday, is in reds. And stages 3 to 8, Friday and Saturday, are in the centre stage. This is the bit that I like to talk about, the prize fund. The prize fund for this tournament is a whopping £450,000 and is split as follows. Last 96 are going to get 1000 quid. Last 64 are going to get 2000 Last 32 are going to get 4000 Last 16, seven and a half grand. Quarter finalists, 12 and a half grand. semi finalist is going to get 20 grand. Runner-up's going to bag 40 grand. And the winner is going to win £100,000 for three days' worth 
work. I say it every time. We are all in the wrong job. It must be an absolute buzz to be a dart player and win that sort of prize money. Mind you, nothing compared to what football is earn, but still very good. Main stage matches will be broadcast live on ITV4 for the UK viewers through the PDC's international broadcast partners, including The Zone and via play and on PDC TV for the rest of the world subscribers. Action from stage two on Friday and Saturday will be streamed exclusively for all PDC uh, TV subscribers worldwide. So that is it for today's guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about the 2022 UK Open. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if I've missed anything, please do let me know. Are you going to be watching? And who do you think is going to win the tournament? Let me know who your favourites are. I'll be back in a couple of days to pick out eight players that I think could go really well. Uh, six that most of us could probably say yes. And maybe two outsiders that I think could have a serious run uh, in this tournament. But before I go, guys, please make sure that you do like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to make sure that you never miss any of our uploads. Like I said, it do make a difference. Um, I appreciate all your support. I'll see you all again very soon. Don't forget to check out all the free stuff coming out is a link in the description below click on it loads of stuff up for grabs we've got a blade uh six triple core we've got darts loads of stuff that you can take part on the app uh stay safe guys look after each other and i'll catch you all next time